Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Welcome to the video number 511. You're watching youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Pramar, which is my channel. And if you're watching this video for the first time, then I welcome you. And I want to tell you that basically on this channel, you'll find four major subjects being covered every day, every week. One is the MS Excel, the second is the MS Excel VBA, and the third is MS Access. And the fourth is MS Access VBA, right? So in this video today, as you can see on your screen, uh, we are going to talk about that how to work with the MS Word, existing MS Word document, how you can open it using the Excel VBA. And this is going to be the series number five, right? Now, I have recently started a series on the MS Word where we have, you know, learned from in the series one, series two, series three, series four, that how to work with the uh, a new MS Word and how to paste the data from the Excel. If you haven't watched those series, please go and watch. And uh, so what you can do is, um, a lot of you ask me that how to start this, you know, the learning, uh, if you if you want to refer to these videos, all the 500 plus videos, then guys, this is the playlist sequence which you are supposed to follow. So I have clearly mentioned here, this is the Excel VBA, this is the Excel, this is Access Frontend, and this is the Access VBA. So here, in the Excel VBA specifically, you will also see that we also have the videos on how to connect the Outlook with the Excel VBA, how to connect the PowerPoint, how to connect the MS Access, and you'll find those amazing videos under these playlists. Especially about the Outlook, I must tell you that all the videos are pretty amazing because a lot of you have asked me very good questions, and I just uploaded the video, uh, you know, uh, by, by in just just to uh, in an attempt to give you the solution, right? So you'll find there, I think, 45 plus videos of the Outlook series. Now, one of the series which I have uh, very recently started, which you can't see here in the Excel VBA, and uh, that is the connecting MS Word with Excel VBA. So you can go and watch that playlist, Excel VBA connecting MS Word with Excel. Next time I'll add it in this snapshot. So now let us talk about how we can actually go ahead and open the current, the existing MS Word. So guys, uh, what we need to do is, uh, I'll first of all, let us say, uh, create any document here. So I'm just going to write here, Word, W-O-R-D, and I'll save that MS Word uh, document uh, on my desktop it is going to be a blank document we are not really going to add anything here maybe i can write some type of text you know and we just go and save this on my desktop as i was telling you so i go and press f12 to save save as uh, you know f12 is a shortcut key by the way to save as you know whenever you want to do the save as don't use the ribbon you can also go and simply say that F12, you can just use the shortcut key F12, which is right now showing on your screen also, right? So I just name this as, let's say, test.doc and I'm gonna save it in the desktop, okay? So I save this, now let us go ahead and close this. Now I want to make sure that the test document should be here, so let me press D. So we have this test document, right? And what I'm going to do is, I right click on this, I go to the properties, and I'm going to capture the path of this. So you go to the security option and from there, you can see the entire file name. You can see here the test file name uh, with the extension docx and also you have the complete path, which is the C drive user is a desktop. Acer is my username. So I just copy this and now we will go in the Excel VBA, click on the developer tab. Let's go to the Visual Basic and here what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to open this, you know, insert a module right so this is my module and here i'm going to write the program now the first thing which you need to do is to make this connectivity work we have to go to the tools and the reference so if you have watched my previous videos uh, or if you are have a you know uh, a good understanding about the vba and if you know that how we connect the object then 
you know this is the library which you need to activate now for those who do not know anything about this connectivity part and you also you know you haven't watched those ms word big beginner level series then let me just take one minute and explain you so what happens because we want to connect this excel with the ms word and ms word you know it is the external application guys it is not the excel application so you have to tell your excel vba that you're going to use the ms word classes what are the classes now classes means that every object which is defined in the programming world it has some you know uh, functionalities uh, through which you write the programs through which you know when you write that uh, functionalities you are able to do your task for example let me give you a very uh, good example very basic example now if you if you are working in a VBA Excel VBA I'm talking about then you know there is a command called workbooks dot open now workbook is an object so that object when you write workbooks dot you know open is a method which comes in the drop down right like for example if I just show you let's so let's say this is my open word now when you write here let's say workbook workbook start you know you get to see here open method now how this open is what this is a method method means that when you run this command what will happen a workbook is going to open so method means action right now you why you get to see that because microsoft has given us all these methods and there are properties as well i will not go into that property thing this is basically a property icon property means which tells you about the object it doesn't do any action like if i want to know the name of the workbook then workbook dot name you know i can write it but then that does not mean it is going to actually uh, do some action it is just to retrieve the information right but so these are all the methods and the properties and now why it is coming because it is defined in the workbook class so class is nothing it's a place you can see where you have defined everything you means Microsoft has defined everything right so because we want to use the MS Word and MS Word uh, they have the different objects obviously because in the MS Word you have the uh, document as an object you have the paragraphs you know yeah, and and uh, uh, there are a lot of other things right but uh, in the excel you don't have the document right you have the sheets there you have the cells there in the excel but in the ms word you know you don't have the uh, cells right so every object basically uh, uh, every uh, uh, this programming language ms word ms powerpoint ms access ms excel you know ms outlook they all have the different different objects and so because we have the objects and we have to work with the objects so to uh, so where these objects are defined that is called the class now you want to use the class so indirectly i'm saying that i want to use the ms word object now if you want to use those objects you have to make sure microsoft word 16.0 object library should be activated now by default this is never activated right so what you need to do is you just need to click m here and you need to scroll it down now when you scroll it down you get to see here all the alphabetically first of all these are all libraries alphabetically sorted so you you not find you, uh, you should not be taking much of the time they are very easy to find it out guys so i just go here and i'll see that where is my microsoft word so the moment you start with the w you will find your library there right now i have already you know selected that i have activated that that is why it is coming on the top 16.0 because I'm using the MS Word 16 if you have a different version you will see the different number but that is not going to be any issue so make sure first of all Microsoft Word library should be activated because we want to deal with the Microsoft now what you need to do now guys uh, because we want to open the MS Word so you cannot simply you know go like you write the workbooks so you write the open right but that does not mean that if you write here let's say word and you write here you know like let's say if i'm just going to write here uh, document let's say this is what i write dot open right now if i just go and write here the path i'm just going to paste that path here right so word dot document dot open if i just go and run this see what is going to happen it is going to say that activex component can't create object now this line is perfect <laughs> right this line is perfect but it is giving very interesting error that it can it cannot create the object so the reason is what it means understand the again i'm running this line activex component can't create the object now the thing is when you don't have the ms word object created 
because for Excel VBA this is all you know this is a different application first of all you have to let the VBA know Excel VBA know that you know you want to work with the MS Word and that is why you are interested in first of all creating that object object means creating that MS Word application and that is why what you need to do before you write this line okay you will have to go here and you will have to create that object so this is how we create the object now I am going to use the early binding method right I have explained this in series 1 as well and there is a video also on my channel what is the difference between early binding and the late binding you can quickly go and check that out early binding means you are already telling the VBA that which object you are going to deal with now you would ask me that where I have told Excel VBA that I am going to work with the Excel uh, I'm going to work with the MS Word. Well, my friends, this is what it is doing. When you go to the tool reference and when you activate this MS Word 16.0 object library, that means you are actually telling in advance, you know, before the macro runs that you are going to work with the MS Word. So we will write here dimension, which is a dim word. You simply write here, uh, you know, let's say, so we write MS Word. I just create my own variable ms word now you can create any variable i mean you can also create like uh, you can simply say w as well that's all up to you right so let's say maybe we create wd what do you want to do what do you want to write here word dot application now the next line is we are going to create the object to create the object you have to write that i'm just going to create the word dot application right and then once the word when you write this line when the VP is going to execute these two lines what will happen in the background you will see the word application created so now we're going to make it visible so this is how we're going to say that make that word visible and just go and activate it let's say this is what we are going to do right now once you have done that now if you remember if you look at this the line word dot document now when I write word now this is a complete your you know MS Word, it's a keyword, right? But here, what is your MS Word? Your MS Word actually is not Word now. It is the WD object which you have created. So now that means once you said that WD is going to be considered as my Word application, which is MS Word, then that means guys, when you go and press WD dot, look at this guys, you will automatically start seeing all the methods and the properties, right? Which are a part of this work uh, MS Word application. So now here I'm just going to use the document, the same line, and then I'm going to say that open, and then you go and paste that line, right? So this is the difference. Don't use the word now. We can simply say that WD because WD is created when the VB is going to run this line. Set WD equals to new word dot application. That means your word application is going to be created, and I've explained this. Uh, in my beginner level videos also so now let us go ahead and see that if we are able to open the existing work ms word document or not right so i go here and i run this f8 i'm running the command f8 i hope you know that that's a very basic thing to run the code step by step so there we go i press f8 and now the word you look at this it's taking little time right it takes on my system like it take uh, takes almost three four seconds maybe in your case it's going to it, it's just going to take one second but it will take little time because it's actually going to create the ms word application now let's let's make that visible also because right now you can't see that right so the moment i do that look at this look at this guys on my taskbar you have the ms word created now i'm just going to activate it so that you should see it you know in front of you look at this now the ms word is you know created now this absolutely is a blank layout this is just a layout you can see that it's ribbon it doesn't show anything activated now on this document on this word file on this word layout right i'm going to open the existing document so the moment i run this look at this your test document is open so this is how guys you open the MS Word document now why I have actually educated you about this well obviously the first which is very obvious reason that you should be knowing you know how to work with the existing MS Word documents if you want to control them if you want to you know uh, modify them now in my next video what we are going to do is we are going to cover the next level what we are going to do is I'm going to show you that how you can 
copy the Excel data and put it in the MS Word document. Now this I have already covered in my series 2, series 3, series 4. But in the next video, we will be doing something special. So I'll keep that surprise for you. You till then, wait for my next video and have fun. Thank you so much for, guys, uh, for watching guys. And you know, I don't think so. I have to say that, that you need to subscribe now. To, to, to if you want to become an awesome in all these four subjects excel excel vba access and access vba all right so i'll see you soon thank you so much for watching have a fantastic day